Hello people, in this video I'm going to be unboxing the little Sawbest Long Reach Hedge Trimmer which I bought a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago. I've actually already unboxed it, there's a fair bit of assembly to be done on it. So I not make the video too long otherwise, so I've already taken everything out of the bags and that like. So, $69.99 Lidl's. Main, mains power, 900 watt. 3.5 meter reach. That's the main main body of the unit. They did a rechargeable one as well, but I, I bought the mains power. I think mains power tools got more more uh, more bit more guts to them. So now that's the main that's the main body. The shaft comes in three pieces. So you've got the main. The main shaft is actually permanently attached to the, to the actual main body and motor housing. You've got the shoulder strap, so you can put it, put it over, your, over your shoulder to help, help support it. It's quite heavy actually, quite, quite a lot of weight to it. You've got adjustable shoulder strap there. Hand, rubber hand grips on there, foam rubber hand grips on, on there. You've got an optional no, extension shaft, you can, u you can use the actual you can use the actual cutter blade with or without the extension shaft if you want ma maximum reach. Quite a long, quite a long thing to play with. Maximum reach. That. You can see you've got like a, like a, lo a location pin on there, like sprung load location pin. Square drive shaft on the end. That locates, locates in there. Twist it down. So it locks and you see the locking pin pop into position. And you do the thumb wheel up. Enough so it grips and do not over tighten it, that's enough so it grips. And that's obviously that's your first extension. You've got me you've got the main put that down for a minute. It's the main the actual main part of the actual that's the black that's the uh, blade guard that's the blade guard laser cut cutting blade so you've got a uh, 450mm cutting length there on the actual actual blades put that back from it pretty sharp you wouldn't want to cut wouldn't want to catch your fingers on there they're pretty sharp those blades like that then that I'll take that. I'll take that one out. It'd be it'd be too it'd be too long to get in the video. Otherwise, I'll take that one out again. Obviously, you've got like a lower head. You can admit that. Back in there. And that the actual blade locks in the same way. Locking pin on there. Twist it a bit to locate the drive shaft. Pin box out. Screw the thumb wheel in. Yeah, that, that's locked in the position. That's without the optional extension. But obviously, if you want full length, you put that in the middle as well. It's got multiple multiple angles and adjustments on the main body. You've got. You've got no, not zero, zero degrees where it's flat. You push the push the locking button up. Push the locking button up. You can ro rotate it. Forty-five degrees, ninety degrees in that direction. All the same. That way. Forty-five degrees that way. 90 degrees that way. Lock, locking button locks in position. Okay, double, double safety switch, you've got to push that red button in and push the main button in. Like that, you can't do it, so you can't switch it on accidentally. Main button, like that. Then 
the actual actual cutter blade end. You've got the adjustment there for the different angles. You've got like a release one release lever there, another metal lever underneath. You can then you can turn it like that way. You go all the way to all the way up ninety degrees from the vertical. I think like that. Easy to do it when I'm outside because there's more room more out in the garden. So I've got multiple multiple positions to lock it in different positions. I've got 45 degree, 50 degree, 60 degree, up to 90 degrees that way. And you can lock it the other way, like that. Like that. That's locked in. You can either do it, if you want to use like, you know, do a front of a hedge like that, you can do the front of a hedge, or you can use it, you can use it low down, that way, the other way around, to do like, like ground cover, if you want to trim ground cover, you can do it that way around. It's quite heavy, a bit unwieldy. Might be like once you've got the shoulder strap on and that. In, Pair of uh, safety goggles supplied there as well. I actually got my own goggles I use, but a pair of safety goggles. Instruction book. Another step up. The actual it's got like a second handle, which has got like a what we call a leg guard, so if you swing it round, stop you swinging it round into your legs, it's got a leg guard which can be swapped round for left to right hand use. That handle. You've got a hinge on there. That handle just locks on locks onto there. I will put that on properly. There we go. Yeah, so you've got so you've got a double double handle on there now. So you hold that with one hand and this handle with the other hand. There you go. That's Nibbles Long Reach Hedge Trimmer unboxing. Next video you'll see will be me using it out in the garden. I should do a review on it and actually be using it out in the garden. So that'll be the next video you'll see. So. See you at the garden on the next one, people.